Bowflex Velocor Bike Assembly Video. Introducing the new Bowflex Velocor Bike. Begin by selecting an area where you're going to set up and operate your bike. For safe operation, the machine must be located on a hard, level surface. Please allow a minimum work area of 24 inches around the perimeter of the bike. Be sure that the workout space you chose has adequate height clearance, taking into consideration the height of the user and maximum incline of the fitness bike. There are two monitor sizes available that determine the overall height of your machine. There is a 16-inch monitor and a 22-inch monitor available. Please check your packaging for the correct monitor size. Before you begin the assembly, please make sure you read the assembly manual thoroughly as it contains important safety warnings and assembly tips. Please note that there are some steps in the assembly process that might require two people to help with the assembly. Some components of the machine can be heavy or unwieldy. Please use a second person when doing assembly involving these parts. For assembly assistance, please visit us online or give us a call. Start the assembly by checking the parts list. The following parts are included with your assembly. Please note that a right R and left L decal have been applied to some parts to assist with assembly. The following wrenches are included with your assembly. A 4mm and 6mm Allen key, as well as a number 2 Phillips screwdriver and a 13mm, 14mm, 15mm, and 17mm wrench head. Step 1. Attaching the stabilizers to the frame. It is recommended someone assist you with this step. Begin Step 1 by locating the front stabilizer, Part 2, and setting it in front of the frame. If a tube is pre-installed in the stabilizer bracket, remove and discard it. The stabilizer has pre-installed hardware that will have to be removed. Using the provided 13mm wrench, remove the nuts from the end of the long screws and using the 6mm Allen key, remove the long screws. The nuts will not be used in assembly and can be discarded. Repeat these steps and remove all remaining hardware from the stabilizer. Next, with some assistance, tilt the frame and insert the stabilizer in front of the frame. Once the stabilizer is in place, secure it to the frame using the previously removed hardware. Starting with the bottom, attach two long screws and the washers. The hardware should be installed into the same holes of the stabilizer that they were previously removed from. Use the Allen key to fully tighten all hardware. Next, locate the top hardware and install the screws on the top holes of the stabilizer. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 6mm Allen key. Once all hardware is tightly secured, proceed to locating the back of the frame. Locate the rear stabilizer, part 3, and place it by the bottom back of the frame. The rear stabilizer has pre-installed hardware that will have to be removed. Using the 13mm wrench, remove the nuts from the end of the long screws and using the 6mm Allen key, remove the long screws. The nuts will not be used in this assembly and can be discarded. Repeat these steps and remove all remaining hardware from the rear stabilizer. Next, with some assistance, tilt the frame and insert the rear stabilizer in place. Once the stabilizer is in place, secure it to the frame using the previously removed hardware. Starting with the bottom, attach two long screws and the washers. The hardware should be installed into the same holes of the rear stabilizer that they were previously removed from. Use the Allen key to fully tighten all hardware. Next, locate the top hardware and install the screws on the top holes of the rear stabilizer. Fully tighten the screws using the provided 6mm Allen key. Once all hardware is tightly secured, step one is now complete. 
Step 2. Installing the hardware to the handlebar post. Begin step two by locating the handlebar, part four, and placing it with the hardware facing up. If the AC adapter is installed, remove it from the handlebar and put it aside for now. Next, using the provided 17 mm wrench, remove the pre-installed nuts and washers from the handlebar. Repeat this step and remove all hardware. Next, locate the handlebar post and place it on top of the handlebar as shown. Slowly push the handlebar post into place, match the holes located on the post plate to the hardware of the handlebar. Finally, secure the handlebar using the previously removed hardware. Insert and hand tighten the washers and nuts into place. Fully tighten the nuts using the provided 17 mm wrench. After all hardware is tightly secured, step two is now complete. Step three, attaching the handlebar assembly and seat stem. Begin step three by locating the seat stem, part six, and placing it on top of the frame on the location shown. The seat stem is adjustable and it has multiple height locations written on the side. Slowly slide the seat stem into place, but take care not to set the seat stem position higher than the stop mark on the tube. Next, locate the seat adjustment handle, part nine, and insert it into the frame tube. Fully secure the seat stem by inserting the adjustment handle and tightening it by turning it into place. Choose an appropriate height for your seat stem by sliding it up and down. Insert the handle fully tight and make sure the handle points downward. To adjust the height after the handle is tightened, loosen the handle as you hold the seat stem to prevent it from dropping. Move it to the desired position and tighten the handle. Pull the handle out to disengage and turn the handle so that it points down, then release. Next, locate the handlebar assembly and place it on the front of the frame as shown. The handlebar assembly is adjustable and it has multiple height locations written on the side of the handlebar post. Slowly slide the handlebar post into place, but take care not to set the handlebar position higher than the stop mark on the tube. Next, locate the handlebar adjustment handle, part nine, and insert it into the frame tube. Fully secure the handlebar assembly by inserting the adjustment handle and tightening it by turning into place. Choose an appropriate height for your handlebar by sliding it up and down. Insert the handle fully tightened and make sure the handle points downward. To adjust the height after the handle is tightened, loosen the handle as you hold the handlebar assembly to prevent it from dropping. Move it to the desired position and tighten the handle. Pull the handle out to disengage and turn the handle so that it points down, then release. Once both the handlebar assembly and the seat stem are tightly secured, step three is now complete. Step four, installing the seat assembly. Begin step four by locating the pre-installed hardware located on the seat stem. Using the provided four millimeter Allen key, remove both screws from the seat stem as shown. Set the hardware aside for now. Next, locate the seat assembly, part seven, and insert it on the open end of the seat stem. Slowly push and slide the seat into place. Once the seat assembly is in place, locate the end cap, part eight, and insert it onto the seat stem. Slowly push the end cap into place. Next, locate the previously removed screws and reattach them. Fully tighten both screws using the provided four millimeter Allen key. To fully secure the seat assembly, locate the adjustment handle, part nine, and insert it into the bottom location shown here. The seat position is adjustable and can be adjusted to a desired position after the handle was tightened. To adjust the seat after the handle is tightened, loosen the handle, move the seat to the desired position and tighten the handle. Pull the handle out to disengage and turn it so that it points rearward, then release. When fully tightened, the adjustment handle must point rearward. 
Step four is now complete. Step five, attaching the console mast. Begin step five by locating the console mast assembly, part 10, and placing it in front of the frame. Before attaching the console mast, the pre-installed hardware must be removed. Locate the hardware located on the tube that sticks out from the base of the machine, and using the provided 6mm Allen key, remove all hardware. Once all hardware is removed, the frame cable must be connected to the console mast cable. Before connecting the cables, verify that the connections are oriented correctly as shown. With some assistance, hold the console mast assembly in place and connect the cables together. Make sure to properly snap the connections together. When done properly, the cables should fit easily without much resistance. Connect the cables and take care not to crimp the cables. Once connected, push the cables down and slide down the console mast onto the frame tube. The holes on the console mast must match the holes on the frame tube. Before securing the console mast and before attaching the hardware, you must check that the upper wire sticks out far enough. Gently pull the cable from the top of the console mast to remove all slack. Pull the cable out far enough with about one foot of length. Once the cable has enough slack, go back and secure the console mast using the previously removed hardware. Hand tighten the screws for now. Step five is now complete. Step six, attaching the adjustable console mast. Begin step six by locating the adjustable console mast, part 11. Before attaching the adjustable console mast, remove the pre-installed hardware located on both sides of the mast. Remove the hardware using the provided six millimeter Allen key. Once the hardware is removed, Route the console mast cable through the round hole at the base of the adjustable console mast tube to the opening at the top. Take care not to crib the cables. Next, fully secure the adjustable console mast using the previously removed hardware. Hand tighten the screw for now. Pivot and rotate the console mast to a desired position. The ease of the console rotation can be adjusted by the tightness of the pivot screw. Once a desired position is achieved, proceed to fully tightening the pivot screw using the provided 6mm Allen key. Step 6 is now complete. Step 7, installing the console. Begin Step 7 by locating the console, Part 12. The console comes in multiple sizes, but the installation process is the same for both. Please check your packaging for the correct console size. Before installing the console, remove the console mast cover, part 12A, located on the back of the console. Pop off and remove the console mast cover. Set the cover aside for now. Next, remove the pre-installed hardware from the back of the console. Remove the four screws using the provided number two Phillips screwdriver. Once all hardware is removed, proceed to installing the console onto the adjustable console mast. Take the console cable and route it through the console mount up to the opening of the top. Place the console onto the mount and connect the console cable to the console mast cable. Do not crimp the cables and make sure to connect them with the correct orientation for an easy connection. There is a metal tab on the console mount plate. Place the console onto the tab and fit the metal tab into a slot on the console. Once the console is attached to the mount and the cables are properly connected, slide the cables down inside the mount tube. Next, to fully secure the console, locate the previously removed hardware and attach them to the mount holes. Fully tighten the screws using the provided number two Phillips screwdriver. Tighten all hardware and take care not to over-tighten the screws. Next, locate the previously removed console mast cover, part 12A, and put it back in place behind the console. Slowly push it into place. Finally, locate the console mast end cap, part 13, and attach it to the console mast. Slowly slide down the end cap until it is fully inserted down the console mast. 
Check the console is straight before finally tightening the console mask. Make sure the console and console mast are straight, then fully tighten the screws at the base of the console mast. Locate the bottom hardware from step 5, located on the base of the console mast, and using a 6mm Allen key, fully tighten the screws. Keep the console mast straight and fully tighten all hardware. Step 7 is now complete. Step 8. Attaching the pedals. Begin step 8 by placing the left pedal, part 14, on the bottom left side of the frame. Be sure to attach the pedals on the proper side of the bike. Orientation is based from a seated position on the bike. The left pedal and the crank arm have an L engraved on it, while the right pedal has an R. Before installing the pedal, there might be a little bag on the end of the crank to help keep the crank grease in place. Pull the bag off to expose the grease on the threads. Please note that the left pedal is reverse threaded, so in order to tighten the pedal, you must rotate it counterclockwise. When installing the pedals, it is very important that the pedal is installed straight into the crank arms by hand. If the pedals aren't installed straight, the threads that secure the pedals may strip. If you feel resistance and the pedal does not turn smoothly into the crank arm, then you may remove the pedal and start again to ensure that the pedal is aligned correctly. Try again and tighten the pedal by hand until you are sure that the pedal is going straight into the crank arm. After several hand turns, fully tighten the pedal using the 15 mm wrench. Keep the pedal aligned as you fully tighten it with the wrench. Once the left pedal is secured, repeat these steps for the opposite side and attach the right pedal. The right pedal, part 15, will have an R engraved on it. To attach the pedal, rotate the pedal clockwise. Keep the pedal centered and aligned while attaching. After several hand turns, fully tighten the pedal using the 15 mm wrench. Step 8 is now complete. Step 9. Attaching the Dumbbell Holders Begin Step 9 by locating the Dumbbell Holder, Part 16, and placing it on the side of the console mast. Before installing the holder, remove the hardware that comes pre-installed into the side of the console mast using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Remove the hardware from both sides and set it aside for now. Slowly place the holder butt up against the console mast and match the holes on the side of the console mast. To fully secure the dumbbell holder, take the previously removed hardware and insert them through the holder into the console mast. Fully tighten the screws using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Next, repeat these steps for the opposite side and attach the second dumbbell holder as previously shown. Step 9 is now complete. Step 10. Attaching the water bottle holders. Begin Step 10 by locating the hardware that is pre-installed into the side of the handlebar tube underneath the handlebar post. Remove the hardware using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Remove the hardware on both sides and set them aside for now. Next, place the water bottle holder, part 17, on the frame tube. Slowly place the holder butt up against the frame tube and match the holes on the side of the frame tube. To fully secure the water bottle holder, take the previously removed hardware and insert them through the holder into the frame tube. Fully tighten the screws using the number 2 Phillips screwdriver. Next, repeat these steps for the opposite side and attach the second water bottle holder as previously shown. Step 10 is now complete. Step 11, attaching the AC adapter. Begin step 11 by placing the AC adapter, part 18, on the front of the frame near the bottom of the frame assembly. The AC adapter comes in a two-piece adapter that needs to be connected together before plugging into the adapter. Connect both power adapters together. 
Next, slowly push the AC adapter into location and make sure that the power adapter wire stays clear of all moving parts. After connecting the AC adapter, you may now proceed and attach the provided dumbbells, part 19. Slowly place the dumbbells onto the dumbbell holders. Congratulations, you have now completed the assembly of the Bowflex VeloCore Fitness Bike. Before using the machine, please make a final inspection. You may now remove any protective covers from the face of the console. Please inspect the machine to ensure that all fasteners are tight and components are properly assembled. Do not use until the machine has been fully assembled and inspected for correct performance in accordance with the assembly manual. Please reference the assembly manual for workouts, troubleshooting, and other program features. Enjoy your new Bowflex VeloCore bike. Brought to you by Bowflex.